and we're going to try to analyze the phenomena. What is it that makes this issue so attractive to the left? And then what is it about this issue that the right finds so offensive? And my guess is we could probably do a few shows on this because, um, uh, because there is, uh, there's a lot to say about this in, in, in this, this, this has a lot, this is multi-layered. It's not just one layer. So this will be kind of a, a first attempt, a first stab at kind of uh, dealing with this question. And then we'll see, we'll probably, we'll probably have to do follow-ups uh, in the future. Let, let me say right uh, off the bat, uh, right off the bat, I think I've expressed this in the past, but I, I want to make it clear. Look, there's no question in my mind that there are that the, the transsexuality is a real thing. There, there are people who, you know, don't feel like, don't think they are have the kind the, the gender that their biology would suggest, and some of that is biological. That is, there are people who have, um, who have. Uh, um, you know, the, the physical features of, of one gender, but, but their chromosomes don't align. I mean, so if, if, uh, if uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, XY, XX, but there are all kinds of bizarre, weird things that happen at the genetic level that confuse things. Now, most of these things are, are borderline issues. They're also pretty rare but they do indeed exist. And, and the more you read about the, these, uh, uh, this issue, the, the more you realize uh, that, yeah, I mean, there really is something here. It, this is not, but it's a tiny minority of people. And, you know, I, I feel really sorry for them because they, just like somebody who's born with other kind of genetic diseases, they have a genetic disease or a genetic problem. They, they have maybe hormones that are misaligned with or, or something in the brain that's misaligned with their genitalia. And uh, that's screwed up. And uh, I don't know that there's a solution for people like that. It, it's, it's sad, right? But it's a tiny fringe. It's a small group of people. It's not a lot of people. And, and there might be some pew right now who are listening who are trans and do have, uh, you know, might or might not have this biological feature. So it, it definitely exists. I do not have the stats on how big of a group that is. I, I read about it, uh, the stats uh, uh, in this book about trans that I read, but I, I, I can't remember what the stats are. Um, but, they, but it's out there and it exists. And uh, um, yeah, it, it, Ian says, uh, it, the book is Kathleen Stock's um, Material Girls, which I read uh, a big part of, and I thought I thought it was quite good. I don't agree with everything she says, but it's quite good. In for, in first establishing the fact that there is this phenomenon and there is this um, uh, small percentage of people where this phenomenon is not just psychological; it really is uh, biological. And this group is. Uh, you know, confused and, 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 and it's, it's difficult for them and some of them ultimately choose to have all kinds of reconstructive surgery, which is brutal and, and, and uh, I can't believe it's pleasant, but maybe at the end of the day, it's, it's somehow better for them. I, I don't know and I don't pretend, but again, tiny fraction. And, and I think I've told you in the past, I, I know Deirdre McCluskey, who used to be Donald McCluskey, and, and Deidre will certainly tell, sell, tell you, I think, that she is much happier as a woman than she was as a man, as a man uh, before this. So, um, and, and I believe her. I believe her. But that, that was sad because she lived a long life and had kids and family and everything as a man. And, and it couldn't, it, it must have been horrible. And then the change must have been horrible. And your know, kids don't. Anyway, it's, it's not, these are not happy stories. But if they can find relief somehow, if they can improve their life somehow, if they can somehow, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, live a, a semi-normal life, then so be it. Why deny them that uh, if, if, as adults, even if 
it, it, it's almost unthinkable and it is it is pretty it is pretty sad the whole phenomenon thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show if you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.